So the third uh, method in calculating the depreciation uh, of a machine or property is uh, given by the sum of the years digit method. So commonly this is called uh, SYD uh, method or uh, other books uh, term this one as uh, SOYD or SOID uh, method. So in uh, SYD method, okay, so the uh, depreciation method is uh, a historical accelerated depreciation. So when you say accelerated depreciation, so the uh, depreciation of the property is being fast track. Okay. So uh, the technique, okay, so the method itself removes much of the basis in uh, first one third of the recovery period. Okay, so this will be uh, further discussed. Uh, in the succeeding slides so through numerical example so this technique may be used in an engineering economy analysis in the deposition of multiple asset accounts so just like what i've said all the uh, deposition methods should be compared okay so later on okay so for uh, you to have a better understanding on uh, how do the methods will be selected uh, in uh, practical uh, scenario? Okay, so in the sum of the years digit method, so this would be the uh, curve, so representing the book value. So with respect to the, uh, okay, so the book value with respect to the depreciation, okay. So as you notice, uh, in the sum of the years digit method, so the uh, depreciation is uh, bigger. No? So the yearly depreciation is bigger uh, per year. I mean, in the initial uh, years, okay, so as compared, and then uh, it, it uh, actually becomes smaller as uh, the machine or the property nears its uh, economic life. Okay, so as you can see, so the depreciation in year one is uh, bigger and then it gets uh, smaller and smaller and smaller. Okay, so this is what the statement uh, uh, removes much of the basis no? so in the first one third of the period or the recovery period. Okay, so that means the uh depreciation no so or the uh value no so of the uh, equipment or property so will be somehow recovered no so in the first early stages no so of the uh life no so of the uh, property or the machine so we compute no so we calculate the um depreciation no so using the sum of the years digit method using the following mathematical formulas okay so uh first we calculate no so there is a need to calculate the syd okay so that is equal to no so syd is equivalent to uh n over two no so multiplied by uh, n plus 1, wherein n is the economic life no, of the property or machine. Okay, so uh, secondly, okay, so after the uh, identification of SYD, okay, so uh, next is we try to calculate no, so the depreciation in the first year. Okay, so you can see, so this would be the formula. Then in the second year, Okay, so in the third year and so on. Okay, so then we can say no, so that the total depreciation, okay, so that the machine or equipment uh, has accumulated over M years is the sum of the depreciation each year. Okay, so 
However, it would be difficult no, so to calculate uh, individual uh, depreciation. Okay. So such that we can simplify no, so mathematically. So the total depreciation of the uh, equipment no, so, or the machine uh, over M years is given by uh, the first cost minus the um, salvage value, no? So CN, so multiplied by summation of the opposite numbers divided by SYD. Okay, so let's clarify, no? So how do we write, no? So the uh, summation, no? So of SYD, I mean the summation of opposite numbers. Okay, so now let's say M, okay, so shall we say the life of the machine is 10 years. Okay, and then... Uh, we want to consider the total depreciation uh, after five years. Okay, so the opposite numbers, the sum of the opposite numbers would be uh, the numbers starting from 10 backwards. No? So that is 10 plus 9 plus 8 plus 7 plus 6. Okay, so you have there 5. No? So shall we say M is equal to four, okay? So the book value after four years, okay? So you start with 10, okay? So 10 plus nine plus eight plus six, no? So there are four, no? Okay, and so on. So the notation opposite numbers means that you have to sum up, no? Starting from the uh, uh, economic life, no? so which is N, and then uh, sum it up uh, backwards, no? so divided by SYD. Okay, so then you have there the, okay, so you have there the um, book value, no? CM, so D is actually the total, no? so the total accumulated uh, depreciation. CM is the book value, no? So at any given year, okay? So, so this would be the process, no? In uh, calculating the um, depreciation using the sum of the years uh, digit, okay? So... So we'll try to apply no? so the concept of uh, SYD method to uh, a practical example. Okay, so, so in example number five, so we have here, no? so the uh, company no? so purchased an equipment for six million. No? So freight and installation charges so amount to 4% of the purchase price. So if the equipment shall be depreciated no, so over a period of 10 years, so with a salvage value of 8%, no, so determine the book value no, so of the equipment at the end. Okay, so the fifth year using SYD method. Okay, so let's try to identify no, so the uh, given so first okay so we have the following no so the first cost so this of course no so the amount used in purchasing the uh, uh, machine so but it also includes no so it includes the uh, purchase the the right no the installation charges no so the installation charges would be uh, four percent, no, of the of course the reference of four percent is the purchase price, no. So that is the six million. Okay, so that is okay. So you have there. Uh, okay, so on calculating, so you have there. Okay, so six million two hundred forty thousand. Okay, so the salvage value. Okay, so 
Of course, na stated n is equal to 10, the salvage value cn, that is equivalent to. Okay, so uh, cn, no? so the salvage value after 10 years. No? So as mentioned, that is 8%. No? So uh, theoretically, 8% refers to the uh, percentage with respect to the uh, first cost. No? Okay, so we will be including, no, so we will be including the uh, everything, no, so in the first cost, okay, so in the calculation of the um, salvage value, no, so that means 8% of the first cost, no, so we may say that it is 8% uh, no? of the first cost, so that is equal to So after 10 years, the equipment no? so will have a value of 499,200 pesos. So now we are uh, asked not to obtain how much no? is the value of the machine or equipment no? after five years. So this would be, uh, okay, so the question no? in the problem. So first, thing to do is to calculate for the value of SYD. Okay, so SYD is given by the formula N over 2, that is 10 over 2. So multiplied by 10 plus 1. Okay, so this is equivalent to 55. Okay, so the total, no? so the total depreciation after, uh, or the total depreciation accumulated uh, in five years is given by no? so that would be d five okay so that's c sub zero no so uh, six million two hundred forty thousand okay so minus the uh, salvage value no so four hundred ninety nine thousand two hundred okay so multiplied by Okay, so that is multiplied by uh, summation of opposite numbers. No? So we have m is equal to 5. So we start with 10, so that is plus 9, plus 8, plus 7, plus 6. No? So you have there 5. Okay, so divided by SYD, so that would be 55. Okay, so such that the total depreciation, no, so accumulated. No? So take note, this is not the um, book value, but rather the accumulated. No? So this is the accumulated. Okay, so uh, depreciation uh, for five years. No? So you have there um four million no one hundred seventy-five thousand. Okay, so one hundred twenty-seven point three. So such that the book value C5, okay, so that is the first cost. So minus the total depreciation. Okay, so you will have there the book value. Okay, so the book value of the equipment now so after five years, so that is uh, equivalent no? so to okay, 73 no, or 7.7. 7. So this would be the value no? of the equipment. Uh, after uh, five years using the SYD method. So the last method no, so that we will be introducing for, for under depreciation topic is the, okay, so we have the uh, declining balance method. No? So 
Now in the declining balance method, so the uh, ratio no, so of depreciation is constant throughout the life no, of the property. So and is designated by a constant rate of depreciation k. So to make it simpler, okay. So the in the declining balance method, so there is no a constant depreciation uh, uh, percentage, no. So with respect to the uh, first cost, so for example, the depreciation would be twenty percent in the first year. So the machine will depreciate by 20%. So the remaining amount will be the book value in the next year. So with respect to the uh, book value, so the machine will uh, depreciate again by another 20% and so on. Okay, so that's what happens in the declining balance method. In contrast with the declining balance method, the straight line depreciation uh, if you remember, uh, in in the straight line, no, so depreciation, uh, it it applies, no, a constant amount. So in the depreciation process, so that means there is a constant amount subtracted to the book value, no. So in each year, whereas the in the declining balance method, so there is no, so a constant uh, percentage in the reduction no, of the uh, property. Okay, so to calculate K, so we use, no? so we use the uh, formula, no? so uh, K is equal to one minus the nth root, no? so of CN over CO, such that the book value, no? so CM is equal to uh, the first cost, so one minus K to the power of M. So, so we will be using no so this concept no in uh, analyzing no so the uh, depreciation using declining balance method. Okay, so so in example number six no so you have there so a plant no so bought a new equipment no so for two hundred twenty thousand no so and used it for ten years. So, which is the lifespan no, so of the equipment? So, what is the book value no, so of the equipment five years? No, so, using the declining balance method. So, assuming the equipment will have a scrap value of 22,000. Okay, so that means uh, since we are given with the scrap value, that means that the machine will be unable to operate no, so in 10 years because it is or it will be sold as scrap. Okay, so to begin with, no, so using the declining balance method, so we calculate K, no, so uh, K would be then equal to, no, so K would be then equal to 1 minus, because the nth root, no, so 10th root, okay, of the uh, CN, so this would be the book value for the salvage value the salvage value no so is equal to the scrap value okay so divided by the first cost that is 220000 okay so you can calculate k no so using your calculator so you have there okay 10th root of 22000 divided by 220000 okay so you will have there K is equal to 0 0.2057. Uh, basically, so this is equal to 20.57%. No? So that means each year the equipment will depreciate by 20.57%. No? So, okay. So to calculate, no? so the uh, book value, no? so uh, we then use no, so the formula C5, so that is C sub 0 or 220,000. Okay, so multiplied by 1 minus 0 0.2057 to the power of M. Okay, so to the power of 5, so that is, okay, so 220,000. 
1,000 times 1 minus 0 0.27 to the power of 5. Okay, so that means uh, the book value of the machine after um, five years is 69,557.7. So this would be, that's uh, the value, okay, so of the machine, so after uh, five years, okay, using the um, declining balance method. Okay, so, so we'll have another example. Okay, so in example number seven, okay, so we have there, so a machine no, costing 720,000 is estimated to have no, a book value of uh, 40,500 45.73 when retired at the end of 10 years. No? So depreciation cost is completed or computed using the declining balance method. So what is the annual rate of depreciation? So we are asked not to calculate uh, K. So was using the formula, so we can calculate K. So that is the 10th root no? so of the book value no? so after uh, 10 years so this is the uh, actually this is the salvage value no? so so the salvage value remember at the end of the economic life is equal to the book value no? so of the uh, equipment or machine uh, at that uh, end no? of the economic life Okay, so we then calculate now. So this would be equal to okay, so 40,545.73 divided by 720,000. Okay, so the answer is 0.25 or shall we say 25%. No? So this means that every year, so the uh, machine will depreciate no? uh, by 25% no? of its uh, previous value. Okay, so until at the end of 10 years, so the value of the machine would be uh, 40,545.73. Okay, so take note, no? so the uh, declining balance no? uh, is commonly termed as a constant percentage. No? So the depreciation no? so is given no? so in terms of constant percentage. So in the straight line depreciation, it is given in constant amount. Okay. So the question maybe now is when do we use no? so when do we use the uh, Okay, when do we use this um, depreciation methods? No? So we then have the following summary no? so for uh, the deciding factor as to uh, when do we use no? so the uh, depreciation methods. Okay. So the first one would be the straight line depreciation. Okay, so if you try to take a look at this straight line depreciation, so this is used no so when there is no particular pattern no to the manner in which the asset is being used over time okay so now let's uh, stop over there for the straight line deposition let's try to take a look at the declining balance the sinking fund and the sum of the years digit method no so the declining balance method is appropriate no? so for assets that require more repair and maintenance expenses. No? So uh, take note, no? so the uh, application of declining balance method, so it requires, no? so it is uh, appropriate for assets no? so that require more repairs and maintenance expenses as they get older no so and also for those assets which are prone to technological obsolescence 
So as it results in higher depreciation during the initial years of an asset's life. So you have there the keyword okay, for declining balance method. So that is uh, this applicable no for machines or properties requiring higher depreciation during the initial years no, so of an asset's life. Okay, so many to say that the method can be applied no, so to uh, properties no, so wherein uh, the uh, depreciation will be taken higher no, so during the initial uh, years of an asset's life. So that means that uh, as the machine no, so gets older, so the value no, so of the machine uh, gets also uh, smaller and smaller, okay? So uh, the declining balance, no, so method uh, can be applied, no? So take note, no, so of the keyword. So the method declining balance is intended, no? So to any properties wherein as it goes, okay, so as it, uh, uh, goes along with time, the value will be uh, smaller. No? So uh, perhaps not so the machine will not be uh, what we call this one uh, useful enough. No? So during the uh, almost end no? of the uh, economic life. Okay. So the sum of the year's digit method, okay, on the other hand, Okay, so it's used to accelerate no, so the recognition of depreciation. Okay, so take note, used to accelerate no, so the recognition of depreciation. No? So doing so means that the most of the depreciation associated with an asset is recognized no, in the first few years no, of its useful life. Okay, so now this is different no, so to the uh, declining balance method. So the thing that differs not the SYD to declining balance method is that SYD, although both of them employs, no? so take note, both of them employs uh, higher depreciation during the initial years. No? So meaning to say both declining balance and SYD will have high depreciation. Okay, so uh, but the purpose is different, no? So in the declining balance method, the higher depreciation in the initial years, so is due to, no? So it's due to, uh, for example, the wear and tear, no? So of the machine. So in the declining balance method, uh, the depreciation is dependent, no? So to the uh, of course, performance no, of the machine. So, because as the machine gets older, so the performance also of the machine will not be uh, as good no, so as the new one. But in the sum of the years digit method, so the process is to accelerate. No? Okay, so uh, when you say accelerate, so you have to cope up, no? So uh, in the sum of the years digit method, okay, so the uh, depreciation is being foreseen, no? So during the, the early stages of the machine, so the sum of the years digit method, uh, when employed, means that you are, uh, accelerating no so the or you are recognizing no? in advance the uh, possible uh, depreciation of the machine however again take note that in the sum of the years digit method so it does not consider the the possible performance of the machine no? unlike in the declining balance method wherein uh 
the consideration of the depreciation is linked to the performance. Now, for example, a machine, as I've stated, so it gets older, the performance will not be as good as new. So, however, in the in the sum of the years digit method, so you are as the uh, property owner or the the in charge no? so of a certain machine or property. So you have to foresee no? so that uh, eventually the machine, no? so eventually the machine or property will depreciate. So you have to uh, somehow recover no? so the value of the machine as early as possible. So even though after a certain time, the machine will still be uh, very efficient. So uh, the depreciation at that time for the machine would be lesser already. So in the sum of the years digit method, okay, so the uh, process no, in taking the depreciation is the acceleration. No? So the owner has to recognize in advance. Okay, so the possible um, depreciation no? of the uh, value no? for that uh, machine or equipment. So going back to the straight line, so in the straight line depreciation, so this does not consider the effect no? so of the technology, the effect of the performance so as what is mentioned no? so in the straight line depreciation so it is used not so when there is no particular pattern no? so commonly the straight line depreciation is being used not so because this is the simplest uh, depreciation method no? so calculation no? so and of course it uh, requires uh, fewest no? calculation error Okay, so in fact, uh, using the straight line depreciation to calculate an assets no, so depreciation is, of course, highly recommended. Okay, so uh, we'll try to take a look at some of the, okay, but before, before this one, the, the sinking fund method also is uh, used. So if you are uh, funding, no? so if you are funding, the uh, possible purchase no, so of the amount or, or possible purchase of the machine so after the end of its economic life. So in the sinking fund method, so the company no, so will set aside money no, or cash so for a replacement no, for the asset. So in the sinking fund method, so this is dependent, no, of course, uh, in the uh, interest rate given by the bank no? so, or the uh, uh, money institution no? so wherein the fund is being deposited. Okay, so, so depending on the uh, interest rate, so the amount no? so will also vary. So uh, of the three, okay, so of the four methods, so the sinking fund method is uh, the one intended if the company no, so will have to set aside no, a particular cash so to pay for the replacement. No, so while the three methods, the straight line, the planning balance, and the uh, sum of the year's digit method will uh, identify the value no, so of the equipment. Okay, so uh, value of the equipment uh, at a given uh, time. So the sinking fund method is uh, the only depreciation method in case of discussed. So if the company or the owner wants to replace uh, so the equipment with a new one, so using the uh, amount uh, set aside uh, so for the possible replacement. And is of course dependent on the um, interest rate, not so provided by the uh, banking institution. Okay, so the straight line method, if the uh, property, not so of the property owner does not, uh, let's say, 
know the possible performance of the machine or the property so and if the property is uh, going to be depreciated and then you do not have the data no, as to what would be the pattern okay so will it be efficient or not efficient will it run or not run no? so after the end of the economic life then you better use the uh, simply a straight line deposition, which is the, uh, of course, the straight line deposition. Okay, so uh, the other two, the declining balance, the sum of the year's digit. No? So these are uh, complex method no? so in calculating no? so the deposition. Okay, so, but they are intended no? so as uh, discussed. No? So declining balance is for machines. No? So which may require not so maintenance not so, and then also to properties not so that are prone to technological obsolescence so that means uh, these are machines not that may be outdated uh, because of the technology okay so the syd method no so is used to accelerate that means you have to foresee not so that the um, okay, you have to foresee no so the possible uh, depreciation of the given equipment or uh, machinery. Now, if we try to okay, so if we try to consider the problem presented in example number six. No, so we try to. Uh, compare the depreciation method using the straight line, the declining balance, and the um, okay, the SYD method. No, okay, so that is in example number six. No, so although it was asked now using the declining balance method, but let's try to see the difference between the three. No. Okay, so if you try to take a look at the straight line method, okay, so as you can see, okay, so in the table, no, so now in the straight uh, straight line depreciation method every year, so this would be the depreciation, as you can see, no, so the, okay, so the uh, book value, no, so at the end of 10 years, uh, whether we use straight line declining balance or SYD, would be 200 or 22,000, no? Okay, so now in the straight line, so there is a constant amount of 19,800 per year, no? So this is multiplied, or 19,800 multiplied with 2, 19,800 multiplied with 3, and so on, until at the end of the 10th year, okay, as you look at it, the total depreciation is 198,000, for both straight line, declining balance, and uh, some of the year's digit. No? So, however, the pattern, no? so the depreciation uh, per year, uh, or the total depreciation, no? so accumulated would be different. No? So, try to take a look at year number five. No? In year number five, using straight line depreciation, so it will be assumed that the machine or equipment no so has depreciated uh, by an amount of 99000 okay so in the declining balance method so the machine has already depreciated 150000 okay so in the sum of the years digit method okay so the machine has already uh, depreciated 162,000. So the significance is that uh, using the straight line method uh, in year five, the machine will have a value of 121,000 if it is sold. Using declining balance, the machine, okay, so will have a value of 69,570. Using the SOID, so the machine will have a value of 58,000 pesos. So it is very clear no, and apparent as to the disadvantage and advantage uh, of the uh, depreciation methods to be used. No? So, of course, in the straight line, 
Okay, so in the straight line, so you have there the uh, biggest book value, no? So per year, no? So that means if you are going to sold the equipment, okay, so by year five, so using the straight line value, so you will have 121,000. Using the declaring balance, so you have there 69,000. And of course, you have their 58,000 under the sum of the year's digit. No? So, but you cannot say, no? so you cannot say that you are going to use no, the straight line from time to time. Of course, when you are considering a machine, and then uh, the machine for five years will have already uh, undergone no? so wear and tear. That means uh, the machine will be experiencing more maintenance then uh, the 121,000 value would be uh, somehow bigger no so that is the value of the machine perhaps would be uh, shall we say uh, lower no so because it has already undergone wear and tear no so so that is why depending on the type no, so of the machine or equipment that you intend to apply the depreciation method, so you have to select uh, properly as to which one no, so is applicable. No? So for general equipments, that is if you do not have any patterns no, as to whether it is uh, uh, efficient or not efficient, no, so for a given length of time, straight line method can be applied directly. But uh, if you have there, uh, for example, you have there uh, a very good example is a cell phone. No? So cell phones after, uh, shall we say, passing or after five years, so you do not expect no? so that, for example, in the declining balance method, I mean, in the straight line method, you bought a cell phone cell phone for 20,000 okay and then after five years so you do not expect no, the phone to have a higher value but rather uh, it will be accounted that the depreciation no, so of the cell phone will be much higher that means the value of the cell phone will be lesser okay so uh, meaning to say straight line method is may not be applicable no so for uh, properties that may be outdated with, of course, technology. Because uh, when the time passes, no, so the value, no, so the value of the uh, machine or equipment for uh, those uh, machines no, or equipment affected with technology would be uh, lesser. Okay, so try to take a look at the given graph. No? So as you can see, so this would be the book value. So for the straight line, so in the first year, so this would be the value. So as you can see, uh, of the three methods, no? so it is the straight line, not so uh, method which gives you more or bigger book value. No? So after um the end no, so each year however uh take note no so the straight line method is not applicable to any type no, of property or machine so we still have the uh, choice not so as to which one is suitable so the orange one this graph no so is for the uh, declining balance and then the third one is for the uh, sum of the year's digit. No? So take note the uh, purpose no, of the three methods is to identify the value no, so of the machine. Okay, So again, you cannot just use a uh, straight line method all the time. Because there are properties not so or equipments uh, which could be uh, or which could have no a very uh, less value no so as time uh, passes by. So if you try to take a look at this one, no, so after seven years, 
for eight years. No? So the straight line has still a value of 61,000. So in the declining balance, so the value is uh, 34,000 and the sum of the year's digit, no? so that would be uh, 32,000. To take note in the sum of the year's digit, so that is an accelerated. No? So that means you have foreseen the possible uh, degradation or depreciation of the machine or equipment. If you try to take a look, so of the three, it is no? so the sum of the year's digit method that employs a very large no? so depreciation. So the straight line after one year, the, the property has depreciated by 19,800. For declining balance, that's 45,000. But for SYD, so it is assumed that the value of the equipment has reduced uh, by 68,400. So that is meant by the uh, accelerated. No? So that means that the uh, property is foreseen uh, to have a very lesser value as the time approaches. Okay, so this would be the deciding factors no, on uh, which uh, depreciation methods would be uh, utilized.